Welcome into the mock-up worlds of brand designers. In today's video, I am going to show you how I use mock-ups to show off my brand design projects. So what will you get watching this? One, you will learn how to find free and paid mock-ups. Two, you will understand the differences between certain types of mockups. Three, you will understand what mockups to choose depending of what kind of branding you are working on. And four, I will share a full example of a PSD, Photoshop mockups design. So we will do a real life example together. Now, before we get started, I wanted to thank you for tuning in into this video and I wanted to remind you to subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads. All right, now let's get started. So where to find mockups? My go-to paid mockup are from Invento Elements. I have a yearly subscription with them and I love every single one of their resources. They are providing a lot of different mockups, fonts, illustration, everything you can think of for graphic design. And they also do have a free section that you can check out. Most of my mockups that you see on Instagram come from them, if it's not all of them actually. So my second choice to find mockups Cups is Adobe Stock. They have a large variety of free mockups, so I invite you to check them out. You will also find mockups in places like graphicburger.com and rawpixel.com. I will obviously link all of those in the description down below. Also, you guys, I love discovering new places to source mockups or other graphic design assets. So please, if you do know somewhere I haven't, you know, talked about, please share with us in the comment section down below. Now, you might wonder, is there are different types of mockups? The answer is yes. The most common mockups are the PSD file one, which is Photoshop files. It's mockups that, as you understand, you can only use using Photoshop. And they can be edited as a smart object, change colors, add and change different filters, take out the lightning, switch some objects. It's very customizable. This is my go-to mockups. But you can also use free stock images like JPEG format or PNG format and you can edit them using Photoshop or any other uh, editing tool. Those are perfect to show off your brand in a reality scene, in a more real scene, I would say, because that's a picture. So it's really cool, for example, to show off a logo on a packaging on a beautiful scene. You can find amazing photos to edit on Unsplash, Adobe Stock, and Pexels. Again, I will link those resources in the description down below. Okay, so last but not least, is Adobe Dimension. I have seen myself using Adobe Dimension to create my own mockups. Adobe Dimension is a 3D program and it's very easy to use. I have an entire video dedicated to this program. I will link it in the description down below or I think you will see a card coming up right here or right there, who knows. But yes, if you want to check it out, you can. I have, I think, two videos dedicated to Adobe Dimension, one about Adobe Caption and how you make your own materials and another one on how to create a complete scene. This option is perfect if you are looking to create your own thing and you cannot find any mockups that relate to the brand that you're creating and you need something new to show off your brand, Adobe Dimensions is the way to go. Okay, so now how to know what mockup to choose when presenting your brand design projects. Well, first use the mockup format you are going to be the most comfortable working with. I love PSD file because I think this is easy to make your design in Adobe Illustrator and then dragging and dropping it into Photoshop. Choose the method that makes you happy. Now, my next advice is to always choose a mockup that is related with the product or the services that the brand you are working on is related to. Does that make sense? For example, if I'm showing off a brand about frozen yogurt, I'm going to try to find mockups about ice cream, napkins, everything that is related to uh, the yogurt and that's going to remind of the yogurt. 
If I am showing off a surfboard brand, I'm going to try to find surfboard or any sea vibe related mock-ups. All of those little details about the mock-up that you're going to choose is going to bring the brand that you're trying to show off to life. All right, now comes the fun part. I'm going to show you how I use the mock-ups to show off the brand design called Kendoza. They are a candle brand. So let's try to find mock-ups that are related to the candle world. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we are installed, we are good, we are in Invento Elements, and we are going to look for mock-ups. I'm going to show you what I research, so I will do candle, candle mock-ups, and see what we can come up with. I always go into the graphic templates, but I kind of wanted to show you something. There's a really good paid option photos, and as you can see, Harazo was talking about, about JPEG and PNG, scene that you can, you know, mock-up yourself those are pretty nice so you could use one of these the tag is already white and you can go into Photoshop and uh, you know add your tag right here with distortion and all of that so it is possible to use those as mock-up as well but we are going to go into graphic templates and let's do one together Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and let me explain to you quick what I do, how is it working out and all of that. So I chose this mock-up right here. So we have a candle and the candle packaging. I think that was really cool. But you probably like, yeah, but what if my brand is not orange? What's going on? What can we do here? So here on the side, you have your layers. I'm just going to break it here. So uh, it's easier. And into your layer, you have different things that the creator of the mock-up made. So we have the background, so if you turn this off, you can see the background is going away. Uh, if there is this image, I'm sure that is because it blended with the background, so you can change the background uh, with the color of your choice, and that is pretty awesome. So if I want to use any of the color of my branding, I will change to this color. We'll, we'll do it together anyways, I'm just explaining quick. Then here you have the light setup scene, so this is how he decided to uh, use the light. So if you click on this arrow, you're gonna have a drop down and you can see if you want the shadow, the highlights or not, or take it off together or just keep it this way. I usually don't really much change this out. Then you have the candle and on the candles, as you can see, you have the candle flame, you have the light set up, the glass, okay you don't have to touch any of those settings then you have the design and as you can see right here it said add your design so you'll know that you can add your design right here that's a smart object so if you double click on it it's going to bring you to another window and right here you will be able to add the design of your choice if you go back to this window you can see that you have colors here so you can change the color of your candle you're going to do the same for the packaging so you see paper box it says add your design one and add your design two so design one is the one on the top of the box you can see if you check and uncheck the eye right here and design two is the front of the box so you'll be able to just double click it will bring you here and you will make your design drop it here you can make your design directly on photoshop or you can make it as i do in adobe illustrator and then copy and paste on Adobe Photoshop. All right, so we are going to make this design, dropping it right here. We will see how it looks in the final results.
Panay results. How fun is that, you guys? If you liked this video and you learned something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of those future uploads that's coming your way. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I am super grateful for you and until next time, take care.